Yesterday, I released an excellent throw guide for Bound Suite, where I called it the hardest excellent throw of any Community Day Pokemon ever. At almost the exact same time that video went live, a post went up on the Self Road subreddit. The post showed, based on data from Pokeminers, that Niantic had changed the hitbox for Bound Suite. It seems that they realized how difficult Bound Suite was to hit, and wanted to fix it before its May 19th Community Day. Or maybe they saw this post on the Self Road, suggesting that they might want to make this fix. Either way, there was excitement. Maybe this Community Day would suck just a little bit less. But it put me, personally, in a tough spot. Was my old video still valid? How exactly had the excellent throw changed? I honestly have very little idea what exactly the updated settings of collision radius, collision height, and cylinder ground even do, or their practical effects on the throw. The best solution is experimentation. Fortunately, it turns out the Bound Suite is spawning this season in parks, so I spent a few hours walking around parks and managed to get seven Bound Suite excellent throws. Welcome to the excellent Pokedex. In this video, we will analyze the updated Bound Suite excellent throw. Here's the bottom line. The throw hasn't changed much, if at all. It's still certainly the hardest Community Day excellent throw ever. I wasted a lot of Pokeballs on the ground trying to hit its tiny catch circle. The catch circle size is unchanged. The kind folks on the Pokeminer Discord explained to me that the parameter changes here affect the Pokemon hitbox size and not its circle size. This means the Pokemon should be easier to hit, but the catch, especially the excellent, is still extremely precise. Here are all my successful release points, along with an approximate average release point that should be targeted. As you can see, very little variation is possible, and the throw requires precision. Let's compare this to Bound Suite's old excellent throw by overlaying the two sets of successful release points, with the old release points in red. We see that the release points cluster in an extremely similar way, and the throw is almost unchanged. If anything, the ideal release point is now slightly lower, maybe because they moved the Pokémon's hitbox out of the ground slightly, so a lower throw is viable. My approach is to throw from the lower right corner to a spot a short distance to the lower left of the grey circle. The Pokémon is at a moderate distance, and requires a medium release speed. Here are a couple of other examples of specific successful throws. This shows the maximum circle size for an excellent throw, where the catch circle is 30% of the diameter of the grey circle. Thanks for watching! To see the rest of the excellent Pokédex, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time!